Battle of Lake Erie, along with the Battle of the Thames, would be the high point for the U.S. war effort in the West during the War of 1812. Right now, there are two guns being loaded. A six-pound six pound bronze gun on a traditional na naval carriage. And then behind it, the 32-pound carronade. You'll look at those guns. Of course, the 32-pound carronade's bigger. But the weight of that gun alone is equal to only uh, a long gun, a cannon, that'd be a 12-pounder, which is the size of shot it would fire. This would be very important weight, both, both how much it can throw in battle, but also how much these things weigh on board ship. The carronade weighs about a ton, 32-pound carronade. A 32-pound cannon would weigh close to three tons. Big difference. 32-pound carronade weighs, as I said, like a 12-pound cannon. So you look at these guns, they're approximately the same length. Um, the carronade's a little heavier, but there are two different guns. There is one major difference between these two guns. That little six-pounder can hit something a mile away, accurate to a half mile. The carronade, lucky to hit something a half mile away, accurate to less than a quarter of a mile. And that carronade is what Perry armed his flagship, the Lawrence, and the Brig Niagara for the battle on September 10th, 1813. Why did he choose short-range guns? Because he, the lake is very shallow. His vessels can't hold the weight of heavy guns. So that is why he chose them. And in a second, I think they'll be ready to fire and you'll be able to witness the difference between these two guns. visit the surgeon. The aftermath, but you don't think of the glorious part of battle. 